Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to make a print-friendly style sheet for your web page. Okay, now it's not every website project where you're going to need to do this, but on some web pages that you create, it's reasonable to assume that the visitor may want to print them out. And although this doesn't happen as much as it used to, since everybody can access pages in a or more people can access pages in a mobile friendly manner from time to time people like to print and it's easy for you to make print friendly web pages so if your web pages are instructional in a way for instance you have some tutorials on how to do things uh, cooking recipes all kinds of situations where you think you know what someone's gonna want to print this out so I've got a page set up and it's nothing fancy a lot of dummy text in here but it's a basic two column layout let's pretend that there's a whole bunch of navigation menu stuff over here things that a print user wouldn't really want or need now if somebody were to go and print this page out right now let's go ahead and check this out um, see how it looks in print preview you'll see they they'll get this big dead space actually they'll get content whatever content I happen to have in that sidebar is going to show up there so it's not as printer friendly as it could be. For one thing, I don't want to print things that the print user is not going to need. Print user is not going to need navigation menus. They're not going to need advertisements, by the way. It's a waste of money to advertise on a printed sheet of paper because you won't get credit for that if you're a, um, a website developer. And also things like these hyperlinks up here. See, I don't need my hyperlinks formatted blue and underlined for print. So I want my print version to look a little bit different than my on-screen version and it's super easy to do. Now I'm relying on an external style sheet file right now to control pretty much everything on this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my link tag on my web page which references my external style sheet and I'm going to add the media attribute. Now by default you don't have to use this too often but by default it's set to media all. I'm going to change this out though to media screen. This is my screen version CSS. And then I'm going to have another link tag that refers to a print version CSS. And I'll just add a little two there. So I need to make a separate CSS file. Um, I'm going to have a screen friendly CSS and I'm going to have a print friendly CSS. Now the way I suggest you do this is don't worry about the print version until you are all done with your website. Have everything ready and rocking and looking good on the screen. Then go back and do the print version because here's how easy it is to make that print version. You go to your screen CSS and just do file save as and you give it the file name for your print CSS. There we go. So now I have two identical CSS files and then you go through your CSS file and you start to change things out that are going to make more sense for your print friendly version okay for print for one thing in my print I don't want that reset rule in the print I don't need a background color in the print I don't want to use the Verdana font I want to use the Times New Roman font for my sidebar in print I'm going to display none. I want to get the whole thing right out of there. For my print version, I want my headline to still be centered, but the color can be black instead of blue. Font family, I'll leave that at Verdana. And the padding, I'll leave that the way it is. And paragraphs, I'll pretty much leave those the way they are too, but I will add a little uh, text indent of about uh, two M's. There we go. And one more thing I'm going to do for my print is I'm going to go to all of my anchor tags and I'm going to change their color to black to go along with the paragraph text. And I'm also going to get rid of the underlining of my anchor tags, text, text decoration none. There we go. So my print friendly style sheet uses a serif font for the body of the page it gets rid of things that I don't want people to see on print makes a few little color changes and things like that and also formats hyperlinks so they look like regular text let's see how this works I head over to my browser and I refresh no change here because I'm on screen but if I go to my print preview look how the page is different 
that sidebar is missing and you can no longer see where the hyperlink was. It's these couple words right there. It just looks like plain old black text. Notice that the font is a little bit different too. So you can see that I'm using a serif font for the body of the page. And, and by the way, I am saving a little bit of paper. It uh, went down to one sheet instead of the former two sheets. So it's really easy to make that print-friendly page.